representing the 23 to 24 foot class in the bay boat category. The Ranger 2350 Bay Ranger has an overall length of 23 feet 5 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 300. Built for running inshore waters and venturing outside of an inlet, she has a draft of 13 inches, a dead rise of 14 degrees, a dry weight of 3,000 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 81 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, Dave East and Rick Riles. This is the Ranger 2350, and you know, Ranger is one of those iconic brands that is known for building serious fishing machines. But you know what? I'm not sure that this is one of them. You can fish off of it. We have a trolling motor, we have a shallow water anchor, T-top, we got a nice live well in the back, but that's not this boat's mission. This boat's mission is taking the family to the sandbar, cruising with the neighbors to go to the restaurant. That's why they designed the 2350. I'll, I'll differ with you there. I think this boat concentrates on the fishermen far more than you're giving it credit for. The fishing features are good. It just understands that in today's fishing world, families are a very big part of it. What impressed me about this boat was the ride. The design of their haul was really, really good. We ran through some choppy water. The boat just ate it up. What we don't normally see on V-Haul boats is this nice, big, wide beam carried forward. Most of them get narrow as you get to the bow and you end up with a small bow. What they've done, they've kept their beam really, really wide all the way to the bow and then came to a V. Look how much more room we've got up here. All right, but let's break it down and see why it fits this boat so well. First off, thank you, Ranger. Listen. If you're gonna have a bay boat, you're gonna want a casting platform up front, but they made this one recessed, okay? For us old guys, that's huge. When I'm standing up there, I'm still in the boat. I'm not standing on top of it. Look at their bow seating. The way they've designed these cushions, it wasn't an afterthought. They didn't just put some cushions on us, ah, this is our family model. They're through bolted. They're meant to stay in place. They're used to extra heavy density foam where you can stand on the cushion without hurting it. Another thing that was well designed is the way the cushions flip up. They tilt forward. That way you can put your rods in and out of the box when you're in the boat or when the boat's on the trailer. And you've got a little flip up piece in the back where you can get to the latch. Good, good design. As we move back to the console, it may be a little large for a 23 foot boat, but there's a reason for it. This whole front opens up. And there's a double step going down into there to an enclosed potty. There's also a shelf that will go on top of the potty where if you want to store things in there, it's not going to end up on the floor, it's elevated. They put a lot of thought into the way they designed this boat. Well, the thing jumps out at me about this console immediately is the size of this door. You can not only get in and out, you can put big stuff in there without having to force it through a narrow entry. Good design, you and I both like the front entry consoles. The aft part of the console is designed just as good as the front, let me show you. Whenever I look at the design of a boat, I look at the little things that a manufacturer does. The fact that you can put things on top of the console, they're protected, and they won't slide off. This is a boat that the family looks at, especially the wife. She looks at it on the showroom floor and she's like, wow, wow I can see us got. in that boat. That's wow what it's factor. Got. You're right. It's right. got the wow factor. It, it is going to help you make the case back home that this is the boat the family needs. Well, if you really got to sell this boat to mama, I'm going to show you the one feature that she's going to see and fall in love with. Check this out. This is the first 23 foot bay boat that we've seen that has seating that's anything like this. No, you're right. You know why? They eliminated the rear casting platform, okay? Now, that may be a feature that speaks maybe against the fishability, but man, does this make it a nice boat to ride in. Well, you can still fish back here. You just don't have an elevated deck to stand on. You're still plenty high off the water here in the cockpit, and they've got the huge live well here that's a stand up in the middle, something that you like to see on a lot of the boats. So they haven't gotten rid of all the fishing features, but when it comes to the family, this is the place they know they're going to be sitting, they're going to lay out, it's a lounge, it's comfortable for three or four people to sit across, and there's access to all your systems down below. Granger has come into today's world that's a lot different with a lot more family involvement, and they've done a very good job of dialing it in with this boat.